What is stereoscopy? Humans, like most creatures, are equipped with two eyes, one beside the other. With this arrangement, each eye sees the same scene from a slightly different angle. You can check this by looking at a distant object and alternating the opening of each eye. Notice that something seems to slightly change position. The brain takes information from each eye and joins into a single image, interpreting the slight differences as depth. This produces a three-dimensional figure, height, width, and depth. This perception of depth, called 3D or stereoscopic vision, is very important in our lives. With it, we see exactly where things are placed around us, usually with considerable accuracy. We are particularly good at observing objects that are moving towards or away from us. Therefore, stereoscopic vision is a very important survival mechanism. Certainly, stereoscopic vision is vital for simple activities like throwing a ball or driving a car. This task can also be accomplished without 3D vision, but the lack of this perception makes everyday activities much more complex. So the first step to reproduce stereoscopic images is to capture two images of the same subject from slightly different points of view, the same way our eyes work. The second step is to display these images. That's when we must ensure that each eye see only its image. There are several techniques to accomplish that, and we'll explain some of them. Some are very simple and it's possible to do it at home. Others require specialized equipment and electronic devices, but all work on the same principle. How to feed each eye with different images? To better understand, we must first understand how our vision works. And it all starts with light, because without it, there's no vision. The visible light. We know that light consists of rays coming from a source, like the sun. These rays are made of photons, which travel through space. When they collide with objects, they are reflected in many directions, and one of these directions can reach our eyes. Our eyes have special cells that are light-sensitive. They transform light information into small electrical signals that are sent to the brain through a nerve network. The brain then takes all information sent by the eyes and handles it like a puzzle, forming a complete image. This entire process takes only a few milliseconds, and it occurs all the time. But after all, what is light? If you ask a scientist, he will say that light is electromagnetic radiation that exists in tiny packets called photons, and it behaves as both waves and particles. To simplify the explanation, we will talk about light as wave. Let's imagine a string that we apply constant motion to one end. We are creating waves that propagate towards the other end, with shapes similar to water waves. We may know three basic characteristics of these waves. Amplitude, which is the height of the wave, frequency, which is how many times the wave repeats in one second, and finally, polarization, which is the wave's plane orientation. In visible light, the wave's amplitude determines its brightness. The greater the wave's amplitude, the brighter the light. The light wave's frequency determines its color. Light with lower frequency has red light colors. As the frequency increases, other colors of the rainbow are determined, until you get to violet. So white light is made by a collection of many colors. We can observe this phenomenon using a prism that separates white light into all colors of the rainbow, from red to violet. When sunlight hits a red ball, some of the light is absorbed and some of the light is reflected, reaching our eyes. In this case, the ball reflects red and absorbs all other colors. This is the principle of anaglyph glasses, a passive stereoscopic technique that uses colored lenses to separate images, usually one blue and one red.